I met Lenin in 1920 when I was in Russia. I had an hour's talk tete a tete with him. And um, uh, he spoke English much better than you would have expected. The whole conversation was in English. I expected it to have been in German, but I found that his English was quite good. I uh, was less impressed by Lenin than I expected to be. He was, of course, a great man. He seemed to me a reincarnation of Cromwell, with exactly the same limitations that Cromwell had. Absolute orthodoxy. He thought a proposition could be proved by quoting a text in Marx. And uh, he was quite incapable of supposing that there could be anything in Marx that wasn't right. And that struck me as rather limited. I disliked one other thing about him, which was his... Uh, great readiness to stir up hatred. I uh, put certain questions to him to see what his answer would be and one of them was you uh, profess to be establishing socialism but uh, as far as the countryside is concerned you seem to me to be establishing peasant proprietorship which is a very different thing from agricultural socialism. And he said, oh, dear me, no, we're not establishing peasant proprietorship. He said, you see, there are poor peasants and rich peasants, and we stirred up the poor peasants against the rich peasants, and they soon hanged them to the nearest tree. Ha, 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 ha. I didn't much like that. One last question. Suppose, Lord Russell, this film were to be looked at by our descendants like a Dead Sea Scroll in a thousand years' time. What would you think it's worth telling that generation about the life you've lived and the lessons you've learned from it? I should like to say two things. One intellectual and one moral. The intellectual thing I should want to say to them is this. When you are studying any matter or considering any philosophy, Ask yourself only, what are the facts and what is the truth that the facts bear out? Never let yourself be diverted, either by what you would wish to believe or by what you think could have beneficent social effects if it were believed. But look only and solely at what are the facts. That is the intellectual thing that I should wish to say. The moral thing I should wish to say to them is very simple. I should say, love is wise, hatred is foolish. In this world, which is getting more and more closely interconnected, we have to learn to tolerate each other. We have to learn to put up with the fact that some people say things that we don't like. We can only live together in that way. But if we are to live together and not die together, we must learn a kind of charity and a kind of tolerance, which is absolutely vital to the continuation of human life on this planet.